It's time for the Coach's Corner Show with Pat DiCibato. Hello and welcome to the Coach's Corner Show. I am your host, Pat DiCibato from the Star Newspapers. Um, again, if, uh, check us out on our website if you can't watch the show on Wednesdays. We're on 24-7, www.coachescornershow.com. No charge, no tin cup of the monkey here. Check us out. And, of course, you can get High and Tight 2 exclusively on the website. So uh, you want to check that out. Our guest this week, Oak Forest varsity football coach Jason Thormeyer. Jason is the interim head coach, uh, stepping in for Brian McDonough, who's battling uh, lymphoma cancer. And uh, Brian's going to beat this thing, no doubt about it. And um, we're going to talk about the Bengals' season thus far. They're 7-1, sitting in the driver's seat in conference at 4-0. Big win last weekend over Lamont, 14-7. Um, so we're going to go to a beggar's pizza timeout. And I will be knocking down a few slices of beggar's pizza tonight, Monday night football-wise. This will be taped on Mondays, folks. You're watching Wednesday. Uh, so when we come back, we'll have on uh, Coach Thormeyer. So stay tuned. From a mouth-watering pizza to a stomach-pleasing Italian beef sandwich, you'll never have to worry about going home hungry from Beggar's Pizza. Our meals are prepared with the finest ingredients available, tastefully seasoned in the culinary traditions of northern Italy. Whether it's your team's victory bash, a birthday party, or just a nice night out of the kitchen, check out our extensive menu featuring pasta, salads, appetizers, dinners, sandwiches, and of course, pizza. Enjoy a great Beggar's Pizza at home or dine in at one of our many suburban locations. Having a birthday party, holiday party, or good old-fashioned block party? Then call Fair Share Amusement Company. We rent CD jukeboxes, Golden Tee, Mega Touch, and many other coin-operated video games to help make your party more fun. We deliver the machines to your house the day before the event, and we'll pick up the day after at no extra charge. Fair Share Amusement Company is one of the leading suppliers of jukeboxes and games to taverns and restaurants in the Southtown area. So let Fair Share help you make more money with the latest equipment available. Call them at 773-445-9955. If you're looking for a great place to eat with the family or to hang out with the gang, then you have to get to the Coach's Corner. You will love our extensive menu featuring burgers, shrimp, and our famous jumbo chicken wings. So whether you're playing darts, golden tea, sitting at the bar, or watching the game on any of our 19 TVs, you'll have a great time. So get to the Coach's Corner Family Sports Bar and Grill at 143rd Street and 82nd Avenue in Orland Park, where there's fun for the entire family. Hello, welcome back to the Coach's Corner Show. If you're just joining us, I'm your host, Pat DiCibato from the Star Newspaper. Our guest this week, Jason Thormeyer, interim head coach, Oak Forest Varsity Football. Jason, thanks for coming up. Thanks for having me. Uh, big victory last week, man, over Lamont. I was out there, 14-7. Um, man, I'm going to tell you something. I've been watching the Bengals for 18 years, and that first half was probably the most complete and impressive half of football I've seen out of you guys. Um, I mean, do you agree with that? I mean, it was it was unbelievable. Well, I have to agree. You know, we went into the game telling them it's going to be a playoff atmosphere, and that's exactly how uh, we responded. We told them exactly what was going to happen to them, and it did. And yep. it came out at us, and, you know, Lamont's a fantastic team, and they didn't stop coming through it. So I think our game plan for it ended up uh, panning out in the yeah. right way for us. Your kids definitely executed, man. You guys up 14 nothing at the half, two touchdown passes. Your defense, as usual, played phenomenal. Um, they really did step up. Uh, I mean, you got a kid at quarterback, Brett Nagel, about six foot four, mm -hmm. heck of a uh, you know, big time size. Bobby Ernest averaging over 100 yards a game out of the backfield, and you guys just—I mean—they had three yards passing and six yards rushing in the first half. Uh, what did you guys do to game plan uh, to, to contain those two kids? Well, the first thing we did—we uh, showed them the game from last year, because we have a lot of returning starters on the defense, and we let them understand that this is how they took over against us last year. Yep. This is what they did—they they, gave—they got them the ball, they let them get in space. And they basically, Smash Mouth football came right at you. Yep. So that's what our game plan was. You know, said that if we're going to stop anything, we got to stop the running back. We got to stop, obviously, Nagel. And for the first half, we did that. Second half, uh, they got we got a little bit through it. Yeah, yeah. You guys still did a phenomenal job. Um, and then we got to give props to your front seven on, on defense Jimmy Bardis, Mike Johns, Joe Longawa, Jordan Loveridge, Chad Sprayberry, Corey Bryant, and John Berry. Mm -hmm. Those kids, uh, man. 
I, I had a coach, I, I think it was John Casson from Bremen on the show a couple weeks ago. He said, best front seven he's ever seen, not just this year, he's ever seen. Uh, would you uh, agree with that uh, statement or what? I, I don't know if it would be that bold. <laughs> I don't know if it would be that You don't bold. want to diss some of your former players no, either, but definitely, still. definitely not. And, you know, it, our, our defense is solidified in the front seven. And, and this year they're outstanding. They've been doing a great job for us. Uh, the linebacker crew that we have has a lot of talent, a lot yep. of talent, great speed. That goes to it, but they are protected up front by that line constantly. And we have uh, two returning starters coming back, and Mike Johns and Jimmy Bardas. And, uh, you know, Joel Ngallo, who actually played linebacker a little bit for us last year, was able to move down to the end and just pick up and not lose a step from there. Yep. And Jordan Loveridge, who was playing, you know, we weren't sure if he's going to be on the offense or the defensive side of the ball with us this year, and he's panned out well for us on the inside. Yep. And uh, I tell you, I think uh, it should be to a great team speed. Yeah. Great team speed. So. Yeah, those linebackers could get after it. Corey yeah. Bryant, uh, you know, he's an animal out there. And uh, you got two D1 kids in Sprayberry. Right. And Mike Johns is going to Miami of Ohio, right? That's where he's verbally committed verbally to. Verbally committed. Yes. Anything mm -hmm. could happen still. Sure. We know right. what that verbal commitment means, <laughs> right? right? Um, but yeah, those front seven are awesome. Mm -hmm. now, you're, you're secondary, not to this them. They did a great job. Right. I mean, they really didn't get give up mm -hmm. any big-time passes last week. Mm -hmm. And you guys are 7-1 and one for a reason. Obviously, a very complete team. Mm -hmm. Um for a team that re relies on running the, uh, running the football like you guys do, mm -hmm. um, it was two pass plays that got the got you in the end zone mm -hmm. uh, last week. Um, what did you see that you know when you were game planning, watching film on mm -hmm. Lamont that made you guys aware? Hey, we can get some things done uh, passing the football against these guys. Did they show something that they were sus susceptible to They're, the pass or what? Jason? Well, we saw that they were very aggressive, very aggressive up front, and they they like to bring their backers. So we were thinking that if we could establish some sort of run game for it, that it would open up. A little bit of a pass game for us, and uh, I'll tell you, we got to attribute to our receivers catching the ball and getting uh, yards after the catches and breaking tackles and things of that nature yep. too. So, yeah, I mean, uh, unbelievable, man. And I'll tell you, Ronnie Zarnacki Jr. massive uh, spikes to fill, man. Mm -hmm. I mean, uh, you guys have been set at quarterback for six years. <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> you know, you guys have been very Mickey Nicholas for three right. years, Donnie Larkin for two or three years, right. and uh, you know, I think Ronnie's done a great job, especially yeah. running the football. I mean, he's got a ton of football, uh, ton of touchdowns and. I don't you agree. I mean, he's really stepped in. Done an oh, I agree. And, you know, and, and Ronnie basically stepping in as a senior, he was a starting safety for us last year. Yep. So he had to flip-flop right back over. But, you know, he didn't miss a beat. He hasn't missed a beat so far. And we're very happy with his progress that he's done so much All so right. far. And let's talk about this Lamont kid. This this mm -hmm. Graham Posick, um, six seven, three hundred five pounds, yeah. uh, a lineman. Played both ways. Barely came off the field right. uh, last week. He's committed to verbally committed to Illinois. Um, I mean, how do you prevent a kid who's lining up at nose? Mm -hmm. <laughs> <laughs> Six foot seven, and then you got these two guys, uh, you know, in the backfield that could, uh, and this guy blocking for him. What do you do to try and have, prevent this guy from taking over the game? I mean, it's hard as that lineman taking over a game, but right. I mean, he is just, he's, and like we were talking about, mm -hmm. he's pretty chiseled, man. This sure. isn't no slob out there. Right. This kid is a, in phenomenal right. shape. Oh, definitely. You know, I walked out for the coin flip, and I got to actually see the size of him and, and being the size that I am, and he, I can tell that this is this is a D1 athlete that we're seeing in here. Um, for our game plan for it, uh, they moved him around a lot, so we're going to try to to attack where you know possibly he wasn't or not. But then to put him at nose, we thought that you know our best bet might be uh, to get Mike Johns in there and and see what he could do against him. And I thought he did a, fun, a phenomenal job the second half against uh, against him and see. And we were hoping you know playing both sides of the ball that he would be able maybe we could wear him down a little bit. And uh, open up some games on the outside if we could with them moving them in at the nose. And you guys definitely warmed down because I was watching him in the fourth quarter and he mm -hmm. he needed some assistance from some teammates to scrape himself sure. up off the ground. Right. I mean, he was hurt. You guys put a good pound on him. Right. And your center, yeah. kudos to him to have right. that boy lined up right. against them all game. Well, yeah, and Parker Carroll, you know, and the size <laughs> difference went to him. He, he did a great job against him. Yep. You know, and then we, we moved him around a little bit and we tried to see what we could open up, you know, with other guys coming in there also. But Parker did a great job against oh, him and, and held his own against him first half and, and most of the second half also. Yep, absolutely. Mm -hmm. All right, we're going to go to a RZA, RZA card timeout. When we return, more with Coach uh, Jason Thormeyer when we return. Jason. RizzaCars.com. Looking for a new Chevy? Shop online. The best Chevy selections and the biggest Chevy savings. You'll find a car you want at RizzaCars.com. 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 Looking for a new Ford? Shop online. The name that sells the most Fords in Illinois. You'll find a car you want at RizzaCars.com.
Hi, I'm Pat Disavedo from the Star Newspapers, here to talk to you about my friends at Lisa Thomas Salon. With 45 stylists at two locations, Lisa Thomas Salons are the perfect solution for the entire family. Their emphasis on current trends means the most up-to-date styles and products are available right in your neighborhood. Lisa Thomas' knowledgeable stylists are committed to making you look and feel great. So visit my friends at Lisa Thomas Salon on 84th Avenue in Tinley Park or 143rd Street in Orland Park. You'll be glad you did. Are you buying or selling in the south suburbs? Then make your next move with Mike Mikulowski of REMAX 10. With many years of experience, Mike can be your realtor for life. Check out his website to search from over 70,000 homes. There are many pictures, community profiles, and school district information. Make sure you don't miss the virtual tours. So no matter if you're buying or selling, call Mike Mikulowski, a career realtor from REMAX 10, your realtor for life. Corner Show. If you're just joining us, our guest this week, Jason Thormeyer, interim varsity football coach at Oak Forest. And before we talk about Coach Brian McDonough, I have to give props out to my boy Billy Judge. Right? How, yeah, how's he right. doing over there, Billy's assistant doing, coach? He's Billy, doing right? a great job. He's, uh, you know, we, we move him around a lot. He does a lot of different things for us, and uh, he's working with the offensive line. So it was great that we had him in there for the offensive line this year. You know, with the situation with Coach McDonough coming in, and uh, he was able to not miss a beat. Yeah, he went through it. Yes. he's a good, good kid, and he's yes. he's, proud, he's a proud Bengal man. He's an alum. That's so right. That, exactly. That's key. Yes. All right, Coach McDonough, you know, I talked about in the opening diagnosed with uh, lymphoma, uh, cancer uh, early in the season, and you stepped in and uh, you're the interim head coach. Mm -hmm. Jason, how uh, how's the team responded and how has your responsibility mm -hmm. changed as being the interim? Because I know Brian's still involved. Right. And he was at the game last week mm -hmm. and it looks good. Um, but how's it been when I'm with the team and... Well, you know, it was it was a huge shock to us when when it came about, and uh, and, and to Brian too. You know, there was there were some things that uh, we weren't certain about that it came through, and basically what he told me was simply that we need to just keep the course, and that's it. And then that's that's what he wanted me to focus on. So that's yeah. exactly what I'm trying to do, and the team has responded fantastic. Yeah. You know, the kids the, the kids understand his position. They understand that he's going to be there all the time with us. But, you know, it might be limited amount of time in practice and things that he shows up with us. But to tell you the truth, he really hasn't missed much. No. You know, he says that he's not going to coach much. He's going to try to stay in the background. But anybody that knows Brian, that's not going to happen. Yeah. It's not good. He lives and breathes Bengal football. So. Yeah, absolutely. Just, Brian, I mean, as great of a coach as he is, Jason, I mean, and you know this, mm -hmm. I mean, he's a better human being. He's just exactly. a great, great yes. man. And we, he's in our prayers. I told him that. And, uh, no, he's a, he's a fighter, man. I right. know he'll come through right. with this, and um, and you guys are doing a great job uh, helping him out here. Um, and what I mean, basically, the one thing I know he definitely likes you having is the media situation after sure. games. He's like, go oh, talk to Jason. He doesn't have to deal with us at all. So, yeah. how do you like that part of the position dealing uh, with the, us media types? Well, I'm used to you know I'm used to just uh, game planning. I guess I'm used to game planning. So for me, this is new, but. Uh, you know, hopefully, uh, hopefully I can make it through. Make it through. You're <laughs> right. doing all right. Um, now, what about as a staff? I mean, uh, how has this altered your whole staff game planning? I mean, mm -hmm. not having, I don't know how much Brian's involved, but how has it altered your staff and their responsibilities? Well, you know, we we do we do a lot of things separate on the defense and the offensive side. Uh, Brian, when I when I first came in and then he let me take over the defense. Um, he really completely, which I you know agree with him <laughs> to a certain extent. But uh, you know he's trusted in me that I can take the, the defense and and he lets me go with it. You know yeah. if he he tells me if there's any major changes, you know he like to be made uh, aware of them. But uh, to the most point, he lets us be. So from a defensive perspective, our game plan stays the same. Yeah. Uh, offensively, you know he has a lot to do with it. Him and Ron Zarnecki, uh, our offensive coordinator, and then all the members of it, we do a lot together. So um, when he can be there, he's there. And then, you know, I'm, I drop film off at his home. You know, we do things over the phone. Whatever it has to be done, it gets done. It gets done. Yes. Uh -huh. yeah. And, you know, we spend, we spend time together on the weekends and things with uh, our game planning. And at least so far with, you know, with everything that's going on uh, with him, that uh, it really, really hasn't, uh, hasn't miss, missed much. Much, yeah. No. So, mm -hmm. 
Um, and I'll tell you, your kids, they, they deserve a, a tremendous amount of uh, praise, oh, man. I mean, yes. news like that could mm -hmm. take a team and it could go the opposite way. Right. But your kids have mm -hmm. stayed the course. And, I mean, 7-1, 4-0 in a conference. I right. mean, you're going to win the conference right. championship. Oh, man, we got, a, we got a good shepherd team in front of us. Yes, you do. We yes, do. We have a good shepherd team in front to, of us. I'll respect that. So, <laughs> your kids have really overcome this news and they have. And they yes. stayed the course. Yes, they, they definitely have. You know, and, and like you said, it could go either way. It could go either way with it, and we talked about it. And the one thing that I think helped us out the most, it is that Brian sets it from the coaching standpoint all the way down through the ranks for all the kids. Through the you know through the freshman team, the sophomore team, that it's a family atmosphere. Yeah. It's family. So when something like this happens, like in all good families, you're going to pick each other up, and you're going to stay the course, and you're going to do what needs to be expected. Yeah. And him instilling that in every player and all the coaches, it it, it just falls into place for us as yeah. we went along. So, you know, we mentioned seven and one. Uh, I mean, I'm not too surprised because I think this is your seventh year qualifying. Seventh or eighth straight year, isn't this it? This is this will be the eighth year. This will be yes, the eighth year. You guys have got so you have guys mm -hmm. have sustained this level. Mm -hmm. I think a credit goes to the Oak Forest Raiders youth football program. Definitely. You guys have developed a great relationship mm -hmm. with them. A lot of those kids are, are, are coming to the high school, mm -hmm. obviously, based on the success you guys had right. last year. Advanced all the way to six A semifinals, mm -hmm. but you lost. Uh, you know your offense, a major overhaul on the line and at the skill positions. Mm -hmm. Are you a, a little bit surprised? I mean, despite the fact that you had your almost your entire defense back, right. that you guys are in this position or what? Well, you know, we talk about that in the off season, and we see and we did have tremendous athletes that we lost on the offensive side of the ball, uh, especially you know at the quarterback position. But I tell you, Ron Zarnecki stepped right in, uh, and we knew that we were gonna that we had the the team back on defense, yeah. and we knew that uh, you know if if we did our job and that we'd see about maybe going through some growing pains in the beginning, but we really haven't had that. The offense has come through, and, the, and all the kids that started have stepped up. Yeah. And, and they've really done a, they've really done a good job so far. Yeah. So and and we were anticipating you know that uh, ideally we could be at that point. Yeah. Mm -hmm. um, and now put a little pressure on you here. Okay. What do you think? <laughs> I mean, you guys go to the semis last year. Is right. this team capable of uh, matching, exceeding? Uh, can you guys get it go all the way to? I know a lot depends right. on the on how the eggs fall here. Right. But uh, what do you think based on what you see? Well, I'm I'm hoping to see. Oh, you know, hopefully we fare well against Shepard. You know, we got the, we we try to go week by week. Yeah. Like any team, I would say, have to go week by week, and uh, we'll see about the seating. I really, you know, that's a tough question for me to answer because I don't know what we have in front of us. You know, and we have we have six A's going to be stacked. Yeah. We're assuming so. Uh, we'll, we'll see how the seeding goes through, and you know we're going to try to stick the course, and we're going to try to do what we can. And uh, I, I don't know if I could get your prediction for a semifinal. See how good he's getting with the media, how he sidestepped that question, <laughs> wouldn't give me a straight answer. See, how, but see, this is where my media expertise That's comes right. in. Then. I twisted back with the right. question. I'm like, uh -huh. but based on the talent you have, based on what you had last year, I mean, sure. this team is good. I mean, defensively, you're better, obviously, mm -hmm. right? I don't know if we're better. I, I'd say that I'd say that we we have everybody in place where they need to be. Yep. I'd say that uh, defensively we came along well at the end of the year and when we started getting halfway through and we got to where we needed to be. So we needed to pick it up from right there when we started off at the beginning yep. of the year. I think this team has a, a potential to make a serious run. I absolutely. But like you say, you got to see who you get. You get a Jolie Catholic, who knows? But mm -hmm. I think you guys have what it takes, man. It's a good team. All right, Jason, thanks for okay. coming on board. I appreciate, I appreciate it. it. Tell Thank Coach you. McDonough we said hello. I will, for sure. And uh, we are going to go to a Coach's Corner. I ah, gotcha. Time out. When we return, I'll talk about last week's action. Stay tuned. If you're looking for a great place to eat with the family or to hang out with the gang, then you have to get to the Coach's Corner. You will love our extensive menu featuring burgers, shrimp, and our famous jumbo chicken wings. So whether you're playing darts, golden tea, sitting at the bar, or watching the game on any of our 19 TVs, you'll have a great time. So get to the Coach's Corner Family Sports Bar and Grill at 143rd Street and 82nd Avenue in Orland Park, where there's fun for the entire family.
From a mouth-watering pizza to a stomach-pleasing Italian beef sandwich, you'll never have to worry about going home hungry from Beggar's Pizza. Our meals are prepared with the finest ingredients available, tastefully seasoned in the culinary traditions of northern Italy. Whether it's your team's victory bash, a birthday party, or just a nice night out of the kitchen, check out our extensive menu featuring pasta, salads, appetizers, dinners, sandwiches, and of course, pizza. Enjoy a great beggar's pizza at home, or dine in at one of our many suburban locations. Welcome back to the Coach's Corner Show. Again, I'd like to thank our guest, Jason Thormeyer, interim uh, head coach, Oak Forest Varsity Football. Good luck to the Bengals the rest of the way. Now, folks, I'm sure you read the Star newspapers. You see we have our uh, weekly prep picks. Alan Macy, Todd Rudolph, myself, we make our predictions for uh, you know, Friday and Saturday's games. And you probably notice that I'm in last place. That's not where Cigar belongs. Cigar is always in first. I'm trying to make a run. But last week pretty much sums up the season. It's been so unpredictable. Even Cigar here, he can't even come through with these picks. It's been tough. Some of these upsets, I did pick this one. Andrew 20, Lincoln Way Central 10. And I'm not trying to diminish Andrew's effort here. Jake Whiteclaw, best kicker in the state, one of the best kickers in state history, and a wide receiver, top wide receiving threat for the Knights. He was out. He's out for the year, broke his ankle. Um, but still, Andrew got the job done. Uh, Robbie Gleamy to Brandon Negro, five-yard TD pass. Robert Granko had a 26-yard field goal for the Knights. For Andrew, Matt Brown to Joe Cesario, 77-yard touchdown pass. Brown hit Zach Jebbins on an eight-yard TD pass. And Kyle Ma uh, Masty hit a 32-yard field goal. The T-Bolts, they beat HF. They win the conference outright. Um, they lose the HF. Uh, they got to share it. They got to share the conference. But Andrew's going to get it done. My prediction here, Andrew will win Friday night, and I'll be there. Uh, Oak Forest 14, Lamont 7 for Oak Forest. Ron Zarnacki Jr., 16 carries, 80 yards. Uh, two touchdown passes, one to Matt Buckley. Buckley, a great TD reception. 67-yard TD pass, 5-yard button hook. He turns into a 67-yard score. Um, and Sean Martinez caught an 18 yard uh, touchdown pass from Zarnecki. For Lamont, Brett Nagel, 33 yard TD run. Uh, on the night, Nagel had 131 yards on 19 carries. Most of that coming in the second half. Kudos to the Bengals. They'll get it done this week and they'll win that conference outright. Another unbelievable game here. Brother Rice, 14. St. Rita, 13. Now, at sometimes, Tribune, I think they all went St. Rita number one. I know the Daily Southtown did as well. St. Rita has three losses this year, this year folks, so that's unpredictable. Um, for Rita, Dan Dispenza, 23 carries, 182 yards, two TDs. For Rice, Jeremy Rhodes, Mr. Everything, six carries, 46 yards, and a touchdown. Tommy Gibson and Kevin, Kevin Kohler with a 14-yard touchdown pass. Gibson was 8 of 18 for 57 yards. Rice and all those prognosticators picking Rice in last place. I told you in week one there was no way Rice will finish last place in the Catholic League blue, and they won't. Uh, Richards, 44, Oaklawn, 7. Battle of Oaklawn, this is how it always is. <laughs> Richards winning by about 40 points. Uh, for Oaklawn, Jeff Norris, 15 carries, 47 yards, and a touchdown. Dave Steuben, 7 of 16, 90 yards. Ryan Altenberg, 4 catches, 60 yards. For Richards, Tyrone Roper, 3 catches, 91 yards. Tyrone Roper's having a nice season. He gets mixed in a shovel. You know, Ryan went getting a lot of the spotlight. Sean Prattle getting a lot of spotlight at wide receiver, but Tyrone Roper has stepped it up. Dante Kelly, 6 carries, 128 yards. Tommy Thomas, 8-yard touchdown run, and 3 touchdown passes for the Bulldogs. Upset here, Tinley Park, six-game losing streak. They snapped a 24-23 come from behind victory over Shepard. For Shepard, Masiak Micah, eight carries, 115 yards, two TDs. Tim Bershers, a 71-yard touchdown run. And Sean Ferguson hit Joe Ruick on a 67-yard touchdown toss. For Tinley Park, Taylor Dennis, seven catches, 101 yards, three TDs. Kyle Rodriguez, 10 of 15 for 146 yards and three scores. Ori Holton, 26 carries, 127 yards and a TD. He's got a little bit worried. Since uh, Coach Johnson was on the show after his week one win, they lost six straight. So there's no Coach's Corner show jinx or anything. All right, uh, Bennett Academy uh, got thumped. Marion Catholic 34, Bennett 3. For Marion Catholic, Malcolm Allen, 91 yards rushing, four touchdowns. Mark Scott, 61 yards rushing, and a score. Lockport 32, Stag 7. For Stag, Marty McAlpin had Eric Reeder on a 43-yard touchdown. Uh, toss for Lockport, Greg Gonsolin, great game, 38 carries, 269 yards, three scores. Derek Pleva, 47-yard touchdown run. Scott Carroll hit Tony Thole on a 7-yard touchdown toss. And finally, Mount Carmel, 64, St. Francis of Sales, nothing. Way to call off the dogs, uh, caravan. Mount Carmel, Tom Brown, 5 carries, 89 yards, three touchdowns. Jordan Lynch, 5-yard touchdown run. Lynch hit Brett Butler on a 22-yard TD pass. Okay, we are going to go to Elisa Thomas Salon timeout. When we return, I am tight. Stay tuned.
looking for just the right hairstyle? Then come to Lisa Thomas Salon. We've been providing the finest in hair, body, nail, and skin care for over 15 years. Our emphasis on current trends and continuing education means the most up-to-date styles and products are available right in your neighborhood. Our knowledgeable stylists are committed to making you look and feel great. Visit Lisa Thomas Salon today on 84th Avenue in Tinley Park or 143rd Street in Orland Park. You'll be glad you did. RizzoCars.com. Looking for a new Chevy? Shop online. The best Chevy selections and the biggest Chevy savings. You find the car you want at RizzoCars.com. 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 Looking for a new Ford? Shop online. The name that sells the most Fords in Illinois. You find the car you want at RizzoCars.com. For the best high school and local sports coverage in the Southland, turn to the Star Newspapers. With a 106-year tradition, your award-winning team of writers and columnists cover what you care about. Whether it's the highly competitive cup football scene or the intensity of travel softball, the Star has all the bases covered. Hi, welcome back high and tight. Okay, Lamont High School. Absolutely gorgeous campus. Three-tier parking lot. No other high school has that, not in the south suburbs. Beautiful football setting, brand new turf, gorgeous. Brand new press box, brand new bleachers on the home side. Concession stand, top notch, didn't have to wait. They had about 30 volunteers working the hot chocolate because it was a little nippy on Friday. Absolutely wonderful accommodations, except for those visiting bleachers. What were you guys thinking? You sink a million bucks into this facility with the turf, and the home bleachers, and then you stick some rinky-dink youth football-sized bleachers for the, for the visiting team. Not only that, they're only about five rows high, and they're at ground level. So the, you got the team, the visiting team, on the sidelines, and the people in the first three, four rows, they can't even see the game because they got all the players on the bench. Bad, 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 bad. You guys got to take care of those visiting customers because you know what? They fill the coffers. They're taking some concessions. You know, they're paying four bucks to get in. Elevate those bleachers, expand those bleachers, because I know I got some buddies that live in Lamont paying about ten, twelve, fourteen thousand dollars a year in taxes. You definitely could afford a new set of bleachers on the visiting sidelines. All right, hope you enjoyed the show. Um, we'll be back next week. We're gonna be on the road, I think, next week, aren't we, George? We're road tripping. I think we're gonna go out to the uh, Rizzo Car Group. We're going to Acura dealership. I think we're gonna be outdoors even if Mother Nature cooperates. All right, have a great week. Get out to some of these games. Some great games this weekend. We'll see you next week. The Coach's Corner Show is brought to you by Beggar's Pizza. We lay it on thick. The Coach's Corner Family Sports Bar and Grill, where there's fun for the entire family. Fair Share Amusement, featuring CD jukeboxes, Golden Tea, Mega Touch, and more. Lisa Thomas Salon. Visit us at Lisa Thomas Salon. You'll be glad you did. Rizza Cars. You'll find the car you want at rizzacars.com. 